Hello, welcome to another Reality Check Tech unboxing review video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Loot Crate. Here we are, we've actually got a special edition uh, Battle of Endor Star Wars edition Loot Crate box this time. And, and unfortunately, we, we missed Star Wars Day, which was just a few days ago, but I didn't get this until just today. So I wanted to show it to you guys immediately. And if you're unfamiliar with Loot Crate, Loot Crate is a company that's been around since 2012. They've delivered over 14 million different Loot Crate boxes to different people out there. And they're kind of one of the first companies that kind of came up with this idea of, hey, let's let's put together a whole bunch of items, uh, you know, t-shirts, toys, gadgets, just really random things that are kind of related to either gaming or different genres and then let's send them to people you know in, in, in monthly subscription boxes so you can actually start your subscription boxes at about 25 bucks a month or it goes even less depending on how many you decide that you want to have for ones like these they've actually got special prices so this one right here is actually a $60 loot crate box don't worry I signed up for the affiliation so I do have a special code for you so if you're, you're, you're new to loot crate and you go to it for the first time you can actually type in the code reality Yep, just reality and get 10% off or even go to lootcrate.com slash reality and then you're going to get yourself that discount right away. And of course, if you're not into just Star Wars, they have a whole bunch of different genres of loot crates. So they have uh, pop culture crates where you can get, you know, just different loot wear. Not only that, they have gaming crates. Of course, the Halo crate, which is what, one of the things I originally wanted when I first saw that they had that one. Uh, they have film and TV crates for your favorite TV shows, Adult Swim. They've got Marvel. They've got all that good stuff. They've even got sci-fi and fantasy crates. So if you're really into like Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, or even like Star Wars, you can get these limited edition crates like these. So. So uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. Are you ready to see what we have inside? Because I'm ready to see what we have inside. Oh, that's right, a hat. The first, the, okay. the first thing that you get is this little list of stuff that tells you about what's inside the, the box, the, the old the Loot Crate box. And not only that, but it tells you why you get what's inside the Loot Crate box. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and take a look and see what this stuff's all about. It says right here, we are the Alliance to Restore the Republic. That's right. This is a top secret mission, okay, given to us by, uh, by the deployment of the Alliance Spec Forces, the Pathfinders, the Strike Team. Our target is the Imperial Bunker, okay? We are the Rebel Commandos, and uh, we're the first in and the last out. <laughs> kind of sounds like production, like we are first to come and last to leave, right? Uh, it says here, the Alliance has called upon you in these dire times to come forth and take a stand for the freedom of the galaxy. The fate of all free beings weighs in the balance of this objective. You are the best of the best and your training will serve you well. The supplies provided within the shipment are exclusive to your division and will aid you on your mission to the forest moon of Endor. That's right. So these supplies here are going to help us on our, on our mission to Endor. It's going to be pretty sweet. First thing we have a hat. Here, it's, it's, it's got the Star Wars logo on the back, which is pretty sweet. It's got adjustability, it's a Disney Star Wars hat, and of course we have the nice Rebel logo on there. We've got this BioWorld adjustable, yeah, okay. How's it look? Does it look okay? Look okay? Okay. So each, each item on here has a little description. We're gonna go through and see what each of these are. This soft, unstructured hat is designed to be packable, comfortable, protective, matched to the primary foliage color found on Endor. It will both conceal you and protect you. That's right. Ain't no little ticks get in my hair when I'm running around on the moon of Endor. Hmm? Next thing we have in here is a, a little pocket documents protection slash, you know, wallet. I, I like this. I like the feel of this thing a lot. It's got like that denim, a really tough, almost like heavy denim type feel. It feels like it's waterproof even, actually. Um, what does it say on here? It says, Durable and weather resistant, so I think it is waterproof. The commando wallet will keep all the classified documents concealed and protected. Plenty of room for many types of currency and personal identification credentials. That's right. You got all the space you could possibly have for, you know, your, your credit cards, your money. You got even a spot for your key. It's got a little spot on the back for your change to go into with the 
pouch, so cute, so cute. And it's got the logo on there as well. So very cool, I, I like this little wallet. Okay, besides the box itself, it looks like the only two things that I have left in here are the poncho and the sweatshirt. I'm gonna go ahead and read what those say real quick. This poncho is a lightweight and compact designed for concealment and protection specific to the forests of Endor. Should we put it on? So, yeah, you got your rain poncho. Okay, well lastly and most importantly, we have the sweatshirt. And this is something, of course, that everybody's going to be excited to have. <laughs> I can actually say right now, the quality is, is, is better than I expected just from looking at it. Uh, it's got this really cool logo on the back. It says Alliance Spec Ops Indoor and of course, Galactic Civil War. Very cool. So you can tell that I was involved in it, right? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a pullover hoodie. And I got myself an XL, so it's actually definitely really, really big. Um, I, I made sure to not get something that is going to be too small for me. I wanted to be able to kind of swim in it, so let's go ahead and try it on. Look good? Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I like it. I like it. It fits well. Serves purpose. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. I gotta just get my battle of indoor while I, hold on. <laughs> the whole box, look, the whole box is stuff. Now the fun part, carefully cut along the dotted line. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching the Loot Crate unboxing. I, I really had fun unboxing this uh, Star Wars special edition with the, the Battle of Endor type stuff. Uh, I actually really like the wallet more most than anything. Um, that, that and the, the, the pin, I, I, I like those kinds of things a lot. Um, anyway, it's really, really cool to be able to have some of the Star Wars gear. I've always been a fan since uh, even when I was a little kid and, and having this stuff makes it just really, really fun to kind of just put around. Also to give away to friends. I have a lot of friends who love Star Wars things, so I already know for a fact that I'm gonna give away this poncho to a buddy who, who loves doing outdoor stuffs uh, and I know he's just gonna really really fall for that so uh, if you are interested in getting some of this stuff make sure you check out uh, lootcrate.com slash reality you'll get a 10% discount from that and uh, if you you know move forward and, and, and keep going with that uh, with your subscription it helps me out a little bit uh, not only that you get really cool stuff with it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more stuff like this uh, I do actually have some other loot boxes coming that are uh, not those limited edition ones. So let me know what you think, and, and I'll be sure to uh, be doing some more updates. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, see you guys later.